Hi, it's Erin Wild, and we are around town with one of the most uh, just great organizations in Granbury in Hood County, and that's Mission Granbury. And if you don't know a lot about them, they do, I mean, they touch about every corner, every need in our community. It's a great place. And I've got two of the directors with me today, uh, Rebecca Freeman, the shelter director. So that's the Women and Children's Shelter? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And Justin Rosner, you are the director of programs? Yes, ma'am. So that is for the Court Appointing Special Advocates, or CASA, but also with the Women's Shelter and the non-residential component of that. Okay, and so this month, uh, coming up in April, a very important month, a big month, um, and I am a survivor of, victim, uh, of domestic violence, and I always say that silence is the abuser's biggest weapon, so we've got to break that silence, and we're here to talk about April and uh, all the different things going on um, to bring awareness and speak out about uh, the abuse and then how we can help out and, and be a voice. So what is April... Uh, what's the uh, official month, I guess, that you would say uh, the Awareness Month? So it's both Child Abuse Prevention Month and okay. Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Okay, and there's two different colors that represent that. Teal is represents Sexual Assault Awareness, and blue represents Child Abuse Prevention. Okay, and so tell me about the different things that are going on with those colors that you can wear, wear to work, post on social media to bring awareness. So the Go Blue Friday is April 5th. And so really what that is, is we want as many people to wear blue on April 5th as possible to show support and raise awareness of child abuse. So you can do that every Friday, but April 5th is really the big day to show your support for child abuse awareness. Okay, and that's Go, go Blue. And that's not just Hood County, but all of Texas? Yes, all the nation. So okay. every... Um, you know, there are CASA programs, abuse children all over the nation. Um, so for April 5th, that is a national okay. um, and, and a Texas statewide thing. But of course, we want to see as many people in Granbury as we can. Because there's a, abuse going on everywhere. What are the numbers? I know na nationwide and then um, what you guys service, who you have seen in Hood County. So last year, we served 161 sexual assault vi victims from Hood County and surrounding areas. And really, that's men and women. Yeah. So we have seen a steady increase of, of men coming forward, too, Good. trying to break the silence of sexual assault, yeah. saying, hey, listen, yeah, this, this happened to me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and not good that it happened, but that people are breaking the silence. And I think the more that we talk about it, too, and bring that awareness, the more comfortable people will feel about talking about it because you kind of feel like, oh, it was my fault. Did I do something wrong? I don't want to tell anybody. So good for you guys. Thank you for doing that. What are the other ways that we can help out? What other things are going on in Granbury? So for child abuse awareness, um, so we have April 5th, but we partner with the CAC. Um, so the CAC does a lot for child abuse awareness. And so they plant pinwheel gardens. Okay, um, so what is the CAC? So that's the Paluxy River Children's okay. Advocacy Center. Okay. So the advocacy center is really when children are abused, they get to go to this, if you can think of it as fun, because it really is, the children are their population. And so they cater to yeah. kids, and kids like to play with things, they like to color things, they like things that are soft and fuzzy and mm -hmm. smell good. And so the CAC really creates this um, environment for a child to feel safe to tell mm -hmm. their story. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing with children that's a little different is that they don't know. Yeah. They don't necessarily know that something's happening different in their lives right. that isn't supposed to happen or doesn't happen in everybody else's life. So the Children's Advocacy Center is really integral when you're talking about kind of the first line of where a child goes to feel comfortable to say, hey, this is kind of what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, so in Granbury, Mission Granbury, the uh, court-appointed special advocates, uh, we, we partner with the Children's Advocacy Center a lot because we're both championing mm -hmm. uh, child abuse. So... Um, you know, whatever we can typically do together mm -hmm. to get that message out there, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to be doing. It's a beautiful thing. And I've noticed in Granbury, too, because, you know, being a victim of domestic violence and the color being purple, and that was in October, you don't see a lot of that. But I, I saw it in Granbury with Mission Granbury and the square lit up purple. I was like, oh, my gosh, that's amazing. So it's like the community really comes together here to do good. We're going to try to do something the same this year. We're actually going to do it. So... um 
we were talking about the color purple. Mm -hmm. So the color for domestic or for sexual assault is uh, teal. Uh -huh. Color for child abuse is blue. Okay. So we're going to light the courthouse. Ah. One side with one color, one side with the other color. They're both they're both important. They're right. both happening during the same month. So mm -hmm. look for the blue and teal. It's coming. So that's going to be the entire month of April down on the square. Yes. That's so cool. What else? I know um, you have a picture there that's really powerful. So every April we do something that's called the Clothesline Project. And what the Clothesline Project is, is it's a three-tier structure that the shop class of the high school actually helped develop and create for us to display on the square. And we have T-shirts and markers on the square next to that to mm. where survivors can mm. come and create their own shirt. They can write their story, they can feel heard, they can get their feelings mm. out, and then they can hang that shirt on the clothesline. And that's for any, anybody who's Anybody in the community. Really? Or wow. e even somebody that knows a victim and they wanna come and put their feelings out on that shirt, they can. And for anybody who doesn't wanna create a shirt, we have a bucket there, it can, they can just drop a clothespin in that bucket. Oh, wow, that's so neat. You know, a wise person once told me that someone has to see or hear something seven times before it really resonates, right. before you really get it, before you really connect with it. Um, and there's a lot of science in that. And so with the um, Casa flags for child abuse around the square, the ribbons that the CAC put up, the pinwheel garden, this clothesline project, you know, that's what this is for. Mm -hmm. So it isn't just necessarily to to hit people that are have been victims and mm -hmm. it's not for necessarily to isolate people who haven't been victims it's mm -hmm. really to connect that mm -hmm. it's to create the voice of right. like you said silence is mm -hmm. their biggest indicator their right. biggest power play mm -hmm. so if we break the silence mm -hmm. if people can connect you know that we're going to help more people absolutely so very cool. And then there's something about the pinwheels, and we'll see the blue pinwheels. Yeah, so the pinwheel garden, that goes up. Um, the CAC does that, and okay. they um, take volunteers, as many as possible. It's typically at Hewlett Park. Um, they also have two um, sipping CACs, so there are... Um, two events that will benefit the Children's Advocacy Center, one on the April 10th, one on the 18th. Um, they also are having a fundraiser at Freddy's on the 24th. Oh. Um, the Children's Advocacy Center also puts out uh, for you to buy child abuse shirts. So, okay. like, they're selling them right now because they want you to be able to wear them in April. Okay. Um, so, go to their website. <laughs> get yourself a shirt. It's very wonderful. Absolutely. Very cool. Um, and then... What else do we got going on? Mission Grammar always needs volunteers okay. for every department. Uh -huh. um, in April, I, we do put on several trainings and awareness classes throughout the entire month to, to bring awareness um, and then also to train our staff to be able to communicate and work with the survivors and, mm -hmm. and know how to what to say and what not to say right. and, and just kind of help them through their journey. Right. And I think that's important because I came across a post the other day, uh, again, being a, a survivor of domestic violence. And someone said a real man wouldn't hit a, a, a woman and a real woman wouldn't put up with it. And I'm like, oh, wrong message, because yeah. never at any time is it, it the victim's fault or did they do anything or are they left lesser of a person because they've been abused. So, yeah, a lot of different messages out there in, in trainings and things that we can do and say. And I know with CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates, you guys need a lot of help because how many children do you have? So we have uh, almost 70 kids in care, and that is just centralized to the hood in Somerville County. So that's where we serve in the CASA program. We only have about 30 advocates. And so if you think about every child mm -hmm. needing an advocate, yeah. we need everyone. Who can be a court appointed special advocate? Anybody can be okay. a court appointed special advocate. So I know that it sounds like, oh, that's a really time consuming uh, responsibility. Honestly, it's really not. It's about mm -hmm. 12 to 15 hours a month. Okay. Um, and of course, there are, we have some paid staff. So if, if you, you know, have to miss a meeting or, or you want to spend time with your family or you get sick, I mean, we have people that can step in for you. And we do that a lot. Um, my goal would be over the next years that we get 16 new okay. advocates. No, that's not going to be enough, uh, but that's going to be 16 more. A good start, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 16 kids. Do you have to be a certain age? You do have to be over 21. Okay. Um, we do have a 30-hour pre-service training. So we train you everything that you need to know. 
we also pair you with a mentor after that training. So you don't have to be alone. You're never going to be alone, really, in CASA. Mm-hmm. You're going to have more friends than you know what to do with. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a class starting um, the 26th of March. We're going to have another one in August as well. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Anything else going on this month that we don't want anybody to miss out on? Uh, Wear teal on Tuesdays since teal is the color for sexual assault. Teal on Tuesdays. Month. Teal oh, on Tuesdays. Yeah. Teal Tuesdays, Blue Fridays. Okay. And is, is there like a hashtag or anything, you know, because with social media, everybody likes to take the pictures, which is great. You got to fish where the fish are. And there's a lot of people on social media who need to get the message or see that they're not alone. Is there like a hashtag for any of this, like a go blue day or teal Tuesdays, anything like that? I believe so. Yes. And there's the hashtag S-A-A-M, which is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Okay. And what's your guys' website or Facebook or socials, things like that, where people can get connected? So website is missiongranberry.org. It actually has all of our programs on there. Okay. So you'd want to click on the programs tab, and there are nine. So you can check out all of them, but look at the CASA one, look at the Ada Carey Domestic Violence Shelter, Sexual Assault Shelter. Um, I will say that Mission Granberry's hashtag is like hashtag here to help. Yes. Um, And so hashtag um, choose to see, choose to help. Choose to Um, see, choose to help. So, but we hashtag, (laughs) we do have a Facebook presence. Um, We do have hashtag stand up for children when we're talking about child abuse awareness month. So Okay. And that is April. Very important month where you're Teal Tuesday, go blue on the 5th and uh, all the cool stuff down in the square. And you know, you you do hear a lot. A lot of people are like, do you see the square? What is that all about? So now, now they know, now they can choose to see, choose to speak. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you guys for what you do. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for coming in. Absolutely. Thank you.